Hey guys, Steve with Southwest Ghost. Okay, um, I'll just point a video together for you guys to watch if you're interested. Uh, I've been over to Mitchum Common today. I, um, I had a feeling that I wanted to go over there during the week. And while I was doing a session last night on the uh, Ouija board, Tina said that I'd need to stop and get some rest. Because... Um, I think she actually wanted me to go over there as well, actually. So, um, I said, okay, well, if I go over there, do you think I'm going to get any kind of light response? And she said, yes, straight away, on a Ouija board. So, I decided to take a chance and go over there. Um, Tina had said that I will get some good EVPs on there. Well, I took my mobile, the Nokia E5, as an EVP recorder. I've done several EVPs on there. Um, some 5 minutes, some 10 minutes and even one which was over 40 minutes long uh, and reason that was because um, I went to the location where we believe a spirit boy called Leonard actually resides and this is a true story about Leonard um, you will see in a minute some documentation what I've put together with some pictures uh, there is no picture of Leonard himself but it gives you the story the background of how Leonard died uh, Leonard died by drowning in Mitchin Common Lake and if you look at the screenshots and pause it and read it it tell you all about uh, Leonard <coughs> um, I'll put some information up about uh, previous investigations I've done with myself, me nephew Aaron, and even Simon James, where we've been over there and done investigations on the common and we've had outstanding results. <coughs> well anyway, um, I went there today. Um, I didn't think I was getting much actually to be honest with you. Uh, weren't getting hardly any K2 hits. Weren't sure about the UVPs. Uh, I've gone to the hangman's tree, I've been to the uh, the hanging tree as well, where two females supposedly hung themselves, because uh, people didn't like uh, knowing that they were lesbians, and these two females were getting a lot of shit, and they decided to go and hang themselves. Um, there are true stories about people actually hanging themselves, and commit suicide on Mitchum Common. <clears throat> if you don't believe me, do a Google check and you will see there are several stories about um, bodies being found, people commit suicide and stuff like that. If you even do a check on Leonard, uh, his full name is in the first page of the uh, document I've put together, um, you'll actually see his full name and if you do a search you'll find the same part of that documentation I've taken and added to mine <coughs> to show that you know it's not a made up story <coughs> when I first started going there guys I did not think I was going to get any kind of activity on the common it was until I was getting K2 hits and EVPs of a little boy saying hello help me and things like that I was kind of like amazed um, I did ask a few people on the common weeks later if they known of any stories and I was told about Leonard a little boy who was riding his bike and the first story I ever heard about Leonard was that he was riding his bike down a hill and he didn't stop in time and he went straight into the lake and drowned himself um, in 2002 there was a guy coming home from work and he took a shortcut across the common and he saw this light white glimmer of this like image coming towards him and the guy was just stood there you know kind of like paralyzed and this image of a little boy riding his bike went past this guy and just carried on towards the lake and disappeared in the lake now there was a little bit of that on the actual news article which I've added with my documentation um, now the thing being is that there are, have been a few popular researchers, you know, paranormal investigators out there 
who have actually researched this and also found this to be a true story. <clears throat> I believe it's true, 100%. Uh, but the story I was told was that he ran, he actually cycled down this big hill and he could not stop. Well, no, that's wrong. After doing some more research on Google, I found that the real story was the boy went in the lake to paddle, to wade, with a few of his mates, and he got to the kind of a deeper part, and because he couldn't swim, he went under, and he drowned. Now, the story goes that there was a guy with a boat on the lake at the time. Um, Leonard had some friends, and I believe his mum was there at the time, and uh, they called this man over, he rode over with his boat and he's trying to like find where Leonard was and he had this like hook stick and what the guy was doing was like probing trying to find Leonard and after about 10 minutes I think it was he actually managed to snag Leonard up from the bottom of the lake and pulled him up but um, there was no way that they could actually resuscitate him Leonard died by drowning and um, many people have had the weird sense and feelings that, you know, they have been watched, um, especially at night time when fishing. I, I've been fishing during the night time and I've not been really scared, but I've just wondered if, like this little boy, Leonard, has been sitting there watching us fishing. Um, I went there today, first half an hour or so, wasn't getting nothing, you know, I was walking around the common. Uh, went to uh, George Biddle's memorial, thinking I might get some hits on a K2 meet there. Didn't get really anything there. Uh, Hangman's Tree, went there for a few minutes, didn't get, get nothing there. The, uh, the tree where these two females hung themselves, didn't get nothing there at first. Um, then I went to this like little pathway which has a little dip and this is where myself and Aaron have been there before and got a lot of like activity there especially on the K2 meter <coughs> and also um, in March, May um, me and Simon James went over there uh, fully charged up with batteries got there started doing an investigation and all of a sudden my batteries were just draining like, you know, crazy. You know, I had like a five hour camcorder battery and I used it for about 15, 20 minutes and it just drained like that. It was fucking like, I thought, well, that's impossible. It can't drain that quick. But spirits, they need the energy. They're going to take the energy out of your battery power and they are going to use that energy from your battery to try to manifest in one way either by communicating through the ghost box, EVP or even using the devices um, we even had a hit on Simon's laser experiment he was doing we had a massive amount of K2 hits um, DC boxes went off a few times um, shit loads were happening when me and Simon was there so today I went there Today being Sunday the 28th of February 2016, I got there for about 2.30 and I left about 4 o'clock. So the video is about an hour and a half. But um, the first half an hour was kind of like quiet. But as soon as I started getting towards where Leonard usually hangs out, because I believe that's his like hangout spot, that's when the K2 started going off and as I got further towards this dip in the pathway it was just going crazy you know my battery wasn't 100% in the K2 meter you know in the light you couldn't see the green light it was only because you know I got a buzzer in my K2 meter I started hearing clicking and then you know it just went off the scale it's going red god knows how many times so many times it's unbelievable. Uh, I got out my DC box. Um, 
this and I was holding it in my hands now it will go off a little bit and it'll stop I was holding that in my hand like that and I was saying Leonard if you're here I know you like the K2 meter but can you use this as well and this was going off as well went off quite a few times the DC box now I had to keep moving around time to time because the people um, coming towards me and walking past me and I didn't want them thinking hey what's this guy doing you know why has he got all this weird equipment thinking I'm some kind of terrorist or um, some kind of weirdo well I'm a bit, a bit of a weirdo doing this anyway but aren't we all kind of weird and crazy doing this um, <coughs> but this was going off as well as the K2 meter they both going off in my hand at the same time now I did put them on the floor but I don't think Leonard is the type of person who would like to get down on a dirty floor although he drowned in the dirty water maybe he just didn't like crawling around but every time I had the K2 meter and this in my hand that was going crazy um, I did say to him in the video look you know I bet sometimes you get fed up being stuck here you know if you want to come home with me you're more than welcome to you know attach yourself to this box and K2 meter box whatever box you like to and come home with me you know I'm not forcing you to come home I'm not going to bind you to my home you can come and go at free will and I've got a cold spot right beside me right now um, so if he came home with me I don't know I did say he can come home with me but no other spirits I know that other spirits have followed me home before um, and I got some kind of like evidence that they have been um, I've been doing streams and Callie has said oh you forgot a female there and I'm thinking where from she goes the common now how the hell did Kelly know that I've been to the common so Kelly said oh you've been to the common and you've got a female followed you home so yeah I do get spirits following me home time to time from the common how many follow me home I do not know um, <clears throat> so you know I was getting a shitload of uh, hits on this DC box and the K2 meter what EVPs I've got I do not know I've not reviewed them yet I'll probably have to do that tomorrow now uh, but if I get anything I'm going to try to do an EVP um, video and uh, you know just part of the very good decent EVPs that I may have caught I'm pretty sure I might have caught Leonard saying his full name because I did say to him Leonard if you're here can you give me your full name please tell me your full name I told him my full name I said this is what I want to hear I told him my name and I said that's how I want to hear you say your name and as I asked if he had said it the K2 meter was going crazy so um, this is my little uh, video well nearly two hours actually um, on the investigation of Michigan Common more investigating Leonard once again um, I won't try to communicate with the high woman, although I did try a couple of times. If he was around, I don't know. It may come through EVP, I don't know. I don't feel he was around me as much as he has been in the past. Um, I am going to continue doing a couple of more sessions over the common time to time. I'm going to go to a different part of the common where um, I've also been told other people been found dead um, I've actually taken images on camcorder of Mitchell Common map and I've pointed out where I might be going later on this week if I decide to go <clears throat> but I really want to do some more on this side of the common try to communicate with Leonard a bit more if he hasn't come home with me and I said to him, if you want to come home with me, come home with me. There's lots of spirit people here. There's spirit children. There's toys you can play with. And I'll tell you one thing, guys. While I was actually getting the videos of, um, of me video record onto the PC, I'm typing out the documentation to put with the video. And I turn around and I see like a little dark image over there. Uh, it kind of like, well, what the was that? I looked around and the cat is over there on the chair because she's been running around most of the night so that's why she's sleeping now I suppose so it was a bit of a, a crazy 
a moment, a little while ago, probably about 20 minutes ago this happened. Um, was it Leonard sitting there watching? I don't know. Did he follow me home? I don't know. Have I caught him on EVP saying, yes, he wants to come home with me? I don't know. I've got to check the EVPs out. And if I do get them, I'll do another video with the EVPs. Um, with Leonard hopefully talking, if, if we've got anything, if I've got anything. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later on. I might be doing a stream with Chris tonight. Uh, if I'm still awake. Kind of tired right now. Um, I'll be doing a stream on Tuesday with Rose Castro and that will be Tuesday the 1st of March 2016 so keep an eye on that one that's going to be interesting because I'm going to be doing uh, Pendulum Ouija board Ghost Boxing and EVP and we're going to have hopefully Debbie uh, to come on she wants us to try to communicate with her ex-husband David who died many years ago so um, let's see what we get right well cheers I've got to get this on the video it's going on the beginning of the video so uh, you know all those 16 minutes so I've been blabbing on but I thought I'd give you the update on that and you know even if you don't want to watch the rest of it just stop him and watch it whenever you want cheers catch you later